I guess we do have the sound. I hope you can hear me okay. I know it's not as good as it has been, but that's the way it goes. Hey, now, Till. All right, I guess you're getting a little close, buddy. Okay, uh, let's see. On Discord, if anybody has uh, anything's gone wrong here. I don't know what to tell you guys. This, uh, we're doing the old-fashioned sound. This is what you get. Uh, okay. So, yeah, we don't have the mic today, and uh, we're doing the best we can. All right. Uh, let's see. So I think we're going to jump right in. I don't, I don't have anything to add today that I didn't say yesterday, and I don't think I had anything to say yesterday anyhow. So uh, we'll just get right to it. Maybe. Got to find a letter opener. Well, uh, there's got to be one in here. There's got to be two in here, as a matter of fact. In theory. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, is this a uh, style that uh, I don't always manage to use correctly, but let's try it. Uh, now I've got everything standing up in there. Let me just put it like this. Okay. Hey now, there's no need for that. Everybody gets a little tense when there's only a couple treats left. And the treats, by the way, are Till's regular food um, that she doesn't generally like, but everybody else loves. We've had her on GI uh, prescription uh, GI diet, and it seems like it works okay for her, but I think it's really just more about limiting her intake than anything. Um, and uh, DJ, I think, just ordered some over-the-counter like GI food for everybody, since they all seem to like this just fine. We're going to give it a try. All right, so our first letter today, it says, uh, it's got Merry Christmas. It's got some cute little woodland creatures sitting on a branch and uh, caroling. You can tell because there's little musical notes and books that they're reading from. And inside it says, Christmas is joy is in the air. May you feel it everywhere. Aw. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, bless you both. I know you both mean so much to the Kitten Academy community. You both bring so much joy into my family's life. Thank you. Oh, that's so sweet. From Israel and Lucy and Ellie, our kitty, and Toodles, our dog. Oh, what great names. <laughs> Toodles is especially a great name. Well, thank you so much for writing. Merry Christmas to you. Here we go. This one is 
Oh, from April in Asheville, it says. Let's find out. It feels um, like it might be one of those pop-up cards. Indeed, it's got candy canes and mistletoe on the front, and it says, Merry Christmas to all, a.k.a. Thank you for bringing so much joy to my life. April in Asheville, a.k.a. Ginger Tuffy Cat, and my boys, Joey and G. Hi. Hi, Teaspoon. What do you think, buddy? You had plenty to eat this morning, didn't you? Wow, this is uh, definitely a pop-up. That's like a spray of uh, mistletoe and candy canes going every which way. Very cool. Maggie's in her uh, in my office right now, where she probably will stay for a while because I wanted Till and Serenity to have some time to run around this morning, and uh, they don't get along for sure. And normally, uh, I can have Till with Custard as long as they're supervised. Uh, he won't start any trouble with her, but. Uh, they went unsupervised for just a few minutes this morning, and Custard started in on her pretty seriously, so I had to put him away, too. So the faculty is mostly locked up right now, uh, but they'll get to be out most of the day. After um, after mailbag, probably I'll put uh, the mom and uh, Serenity up, and well, we'll see from there. All right, this one has a little hamster or mouse who appears to be catching snowflakes on his nose along with a little bird doing the same thing. And it says, Merry Christmas. It's super adorable. Inside, uh, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, may the season come softly and gently, bringing you a feeling of wonder. Happy holidays to you and all the KA family. It's been so wonderful watching all the kitties this year. Hugs! Franny, Moo Moo Kitty, Dobby, and Naughty Little Tigger. <laughs> Those are great names. P.S. Moo Moo is 20 years old. Oh, well, congratulations, Moo Moo. That's a great age. Fantastic. I hear, uh, you know, life begins at 20. For cats. It's, I, I, don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to do there. <laughs> we'll just keep going. Uh, if I can get this one, maybe. All right, let's see. Keep trying. Wow, Warhammer, 40,000 stamps. Who knew? Merry Christmas with uh, sparkly little poinsettias. And it says, to Mr. A, DJ, and all the furries, you have this way of spreading joy wherever you go, so may the Christmas season send love back to you. Just to wish you a happy festive season and the best of luck in the new year 2024. Wow, that's the first time I've said that. That sounds like the future. Thank you. I mean, it is literally the future, but 2024 sounds so remote. Thank you so much for all you continue to do for the cats and kittens and for the Worldwide Kitten Academy community. With lots of love from Joanne, your greatest Scottish fan. Aw, thank you. Wow, I'm going to double check that the sound is going okay since we don't normally do it this way. Let's see what everybody thinks, if they can hear us. Eh, sounds like it's good enough. That's about what I can do. All right, good. Good, good, good. Oh, man. Uh, I, I should mention that, um, you know, there have been some things that have come in for us uh, that have been sent directly to the house instead of to the mailbag address. And uh, I'm also super appreciative for those. I know there's a box from uh, Brew that's probably Brew Cookies, I assume. I haven't opened it yet. Um, and there was a box from actually our vet. Uh, uh, Dr. Katz sent us some chocolates, uh, which are amazing and uh, seem like they will be amazing and uh also there was uh like the instructions that came with the chocolates were like these are only good for two weeks and i'm like wow that's a lot of chocolate to eat for two weeks and then i read further and it's like from the date stamped below <laughs> which is a week ago <laughs> it's like the time oh no two weeks was too 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 short a time to eat all that and now it's one week um, you know, in theory, I'm sure they just don't immediately go bad the day of, but still, uh, that felt funny. So this is a, like a, um, what do you call this with the little, um, glued on, um, sparkly diamondy things, uh, like the art that we have of the kitten Academy that we've got hanging over there. I can't remember what you call this and it's a gingerbread house and it's got a gingerbread man and a giant cookie. That's uh, looks like a chocolate chip cookie next to it, which I can go for. Maybe that's a, 
Oh, that's a chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, okay. Um, and inside we have some very shiny stickers done in that same style, but oh my goodness, it's almost too much to look at. That's awesome. One is a little uh, penguin and the other is a Christmas tree with eyes. And a nose and a little smile. Okay, the notes um, say, Mr. A and DJ, a very Merry Christmas to you both and all the kitties. It's hard to believe that on Christmas last year, I was preparing to bring home my girls. I'm excited to celebrate with them this year. Thank you for all you do. It's been so amazing having these two amazing graduates in my life and so fun to share their antics and pictures with the whole KA community. Plus, they love writing you letters. I hope your holiday is filled with purrs, spoogles, cheesy Hallmark movies, and thorough nose cleanings. Love, K.A. Bless, 17, Mayhem, Bamboozle, and Daisy. Aw, thank you so much. Uh, that's that's really sweet. I love getting the letters from the from the cats, too. Uh, you're very clever about that, and uh, it's, it's always fun. And DJ was just watching. It wasn't a Hallmark movie. It was a Lifetime movie, but, you know, in a lot of ways, they tend to be pretty similar. And, uh, wow, it was especially, like, poorly... Um, I don't want to say just say poorly made because that's not very descriptive, um, but like, okay, so so just to illustrate, first off, there were so many scenes where you could tell that they had to take, a, you know, like re-record the lines later, and even then the, the audio was still as bad as this is, uh, which is really something for a production. But then there was this crazy scene that uh, they showed, like going into this guy's office and they, they have this panning shot where there's nobody in the office yet, uh, even though, you know, we're watching the people that are already in the office. Anyway, they cut in there and they pan through the whole office to show us how it's decorated and all Christmassy stuff. So it's like super Christmassy. And in the, in the one shot that they have where they're looking around the office, there's this giant like Winnie the Pooh doll there. And it stood out because I'm like, I can't believe they could just put Winnie the Pooh in there. It's like a Disney property. They're not Disney. There's no way they got the rights for it. It's just insane. But then it immediately cuts to the characters in the room. And all of a sudden, it's a, the room's decorated completely different. And I, I, I just I wonder so much whether they decorated it with the Winnie the Pooh first and did the panning shot and then had realized they had to redecorate it before the actors came in and didn't think to go back and get the, the establishing shot again. Or... If it went the other way and, you know, they'd like done it, um, they did the whole shoot normally and then they realized that they never really got like, I think it had to be the first way, but they realized they never really got like the, the establishing shot. So they'd go and redecorate the room to take that shot and put Winnie the Pooh in at that point. I don't know either way, but it was uh, it's it's weird to see something like that blatantly strange in uh, like a, a real movie. I don't know. Uh, it was, it's fun though. It's fun when you get to watch something and like see those things and point them out and be like, that's crazy. Look at that. So I enjoy it just as much for that. Okay. Uh, you say, PS, sorry, the stickers aren't cat themed. I thought they'd be a cute addition to your collection. Anyway, PPS, the card reminded me of Popo Sneets. I thought it was so cool. They make diamond painting, car diamond painting. There you go. Cards and stickers. I also have some ornaments for the tree. Oh, that is cute. It is. Uh, it does kind of remind me of Popo Sneets. I should get that out. That's the, uh, like um, the big pop-up house that the kids like to play in. So uh, we've got notes from the kittens, too. Hi, Mr. A and DJ. Your bestest pal Mayhem here. Guess what? My mom gets me a second pillow, so we'd always... Uh, no, a second P16. <laughs> uh, I read P-L-L-O there, but no, I see. Uh, a second P16, so we'd always have one charge to play with. She still forgets sometimes to plug them in, but I always make sure to carry it to her to remind her I'm so helpful. I was excited for Christmas this year. I remember meeting Santa last year, and I hope she comes again. I hope you have a good Christmas, and Santa brings you lots of treats and fun toys. I misses you lots, but I do love my home here with Bam, Daisy, and Mom. Vermont is, <laughs> Vermont is pretty. Love mayhem. Okay, my turn. Bamboozle here. Guess what? We got a Christmas tree here now. It's not as big as the one that we got to climb last year at KA, but it's still fun to look at. Try to get inside and nibble on the branches. Our mom tried to put some ornaments on it, but they were just too tempting to play with, so she took them off for now so we don't knock things over. So disappointing. We also has an advent calendar this year. We get yummy treats every day. 
I asked why we couldn't just have them all at once, but mom said the point was to have a little treat every day up until Christmas. I guess that's okay. She has one too, but I think hers has different treats than ours does. We watched the newest kittens be born, which was really cool, and our mom said she remembers watching us be born. We didn't believe her when she said we were that small once, but she showed us some pictures and boy, were we cute. I hope you have a good Christmas and get to hang out with Santa. Love, Bamboozle. That's so sweet. Uh, that's really cute. You know, it occurs to me that I don't, I don't think any of the kittens have tried to climb the tree this year. Um, I see the ornaments knocked down once in a while, though, so maybe they have just when I'm not looking. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, but uh, yeah, certainly not like in previous years. These guys are all ground bound. Uh, all right. This is uh, got a whole bunch of really cute cat stickers lined up on the front, as you can see, and some fancy uh, snowflakes. Merry Christmas on the back. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, ah, this is so cute. It says, uh, "Dinner's on you, supporting abandoned and unwanted cats and kittens in our rescue centers." Aw. but it's two. It's a picture of two little orange kitties, uh, kind of curled up with their heads together on a shelf. It's very cute. And here it says, oh, okay, someone donated to the Celia Hammond Animal Trust. I, Celia? Celia? Okay, Hammond Animal Trust in your name to feed a rescue cat. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, it doesn't actually say where this is, but that's not... Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, this is in London, I guess. So it also says Merry Christmas to Chris DJ and all the cats and kittens at Kitten Academy. Have fun. Love from Samantha in London, UK. Wow. That's uh, that's really great. And I, I always say how much I appreciate it when people donate to their local shelters, too, because all the shelters need help. Um, they always do. You know, people, um, animal rescues, it's, there's always... Sadly, there's always more work to be done um, than, than can ever be done, but uh, it's, it's just, it's wonderful to help out uh, anywhere that you can. And I love the fact that um, you make the donation count twice when, when you kind of do it um, and send it to us and do it in our honor. You know, I think that's, that's nice too. It's not, you don't have to. I, I love it just as much when people do it entirely, you know, for themselves or just for the kittens. That's great too. But this is, uh, this is sweet. It's a sweet way to include us. Um, so thank you for that very much. Hi, Sprouty. Uh, this card seems somewhat familiar. It is a giant kitty uh, with his belt undone, having just eaten all the cookies at Christmas. And inside it says, gonna need a bigger chimney. Merry Christmas. No judgment here. It's Christmas. Enjoy the treats. Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, fellow Discorders, YouTubers, Kitten Act, Academicians sending you all warm thoughts of cuddling with your furry friends, drinking nog, and celebrating with family and friends. Merry Christmas from Neko Chan and Milo. Thank you very much. It's good to hear from you. Uh, that's a that's a cute card and a sweet thought. Um, I I had a few of those truffles yesterday. A couple, you know, uh, which is entirely more than I should have. I really got to, uh, it's been two days since I've worked out and I didn't uh, do it uh, yesterday or the day before. <clears throat> I felt like I had good reasons at the time, but now it's really starting to feel bad. So that's uh, my number one priority after mailbag today. Um, that and uh, hanging out with um, our little mom cat upstairs. Every time I walk by now, she's at the door looking at me. Um, and I, I don't always know if she just wants some attention or if she wants like some more food. She eats, she's been eating a lot, which is great. Wow, look at that. <laughs> it's like a whole Christmas village. Oh, DJ was going to think that I should put this up on the, her thing with her, with her little Christmas trees and see when she notices it. Hang on. I don't think there's anything written on here, but there is a note we're going to read as soon as I put this up here. Because she's got this, um, she's got this board that has laid out with these Christmas trees on it, and there's a little bit of extra room for a background. I think this is just the thing to cover that exact distance and look good. Got to move our little donkey button here, though. All right. I think this is just the right thing, and this is just the right place for it, but let's see. Donkey, maybe you can actually help us from behind here. 
All right, I don't know if that's visible from any of the camera angles, but I bet it looks pretty good. Yeah, I think I can make it look a little more deliberate later. We don't have to do that during mailbag. We've got plenty of mail to get through. I think today's even more than yesterday, so we'll keep it rolling. The note says, Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, all faculty and students of the Academy, uh, I wish you all the joy, happiness, and wonder the season has to offer. Love, True Blue. P.S. Maggie, please share with everyone the joy, happiness, and wonder of destroying the village. Yes, well, that's certainly going to happen, uh, but I think it would be cute if DJ gets a chance to see it first. Uh, she'll probably be happy to string it there, too. And actually, it's a very cute village, and Santa and the reindeer flying over are uh, just right from this angle. I'm going to have to move that owl out of the way, though. He is not to scale. I don't know if you can even see him from, from the cameras. Uh, I guess I could just look. Yeah, maybe if I lean this way, I'm looking over on our TV. Yeah, I, I, you could, might be able to make it out a little bit if you zoom way in. Uh, all right, that's the notes, I think. That is it. So let's get into it. Mm. All right. You guys ever try to guess what your Christmas presents are before you open them? When I was a kid, uh, we used to do that. My dad <clears throat> would always guess that his were going to be underwear. And that was endlessly funny for us. That was the best joke ever. You'd, you'd take it and you'd be like, well, I think it's underwear. Because uh, underwear is funny, especially when you're a kid, but even as an adult, underwear is still pretty funny stuff, isn't it? I think it's hilarious. So <laughs> anyway, uh, is there a note that... Uh... Oh, it's from Mishi. Okay, uh, Mishi, thank you for... Oh, that's cute. It's just a cute little Christmas... Uh, it's a black cat wrapped up in Christmas lights, and uh, he's wearing a bell too, I think. And uh, he's also wearing a Christmas hat and some mistletoe. Yeah, oh, I see. There's bells strung on the lights. And, uh, yeah, that's super cute and super Christmassy, and it's perfect. And it's got a gray back, so I can, uh, I can wear it with just about anything. I am uh, also it's labeled uh, Port and Company. Hmm. I mean, I know that has nothing to do with our port, but it's cute. So... Uh, I'm excited to wear that. It's very nice. And the black kitty reminds me of the blanket that DJ's got in the bedroom right now that's from the B&B sisters, I think, that had a big black kitty that looks almost identical on it. And it's very pretty. Uh, I do. I'm, that's, that's a perfect Christmas shirt. So I need, I need, so I, I have Christmas shirts that people have sent us in the past, and I thought I got them all out and put them in the rotation already, but then I was looking for one to wear for mailbag, and I couldn't find any. Uh, I'm just going to have to look again. I probably just didn't get them out. They're probably in one of the boxes right over there under the camera where right now it looks like uh, based on how skinny she is, it's probably Drizzle digging in one of the boxes. She just got her, her like, butt sticking out. I don't know what she's looking for in there. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Well... I, uh, oh, this is from Snow Tiger Ninja 16. Snow Tiger Ninja 16 via, I don't know what the via means, it's S J M B. So, uh, Snow Tiger Ninja 16 via S J M B. And, uh, okay, I'm going to try to use this to open it, but I, I need to get out a different knife especially once we get into the boxes. I don't think this is going to cut it. Ha <laughs> ha. Ha. That's not a joke. That's just words. Okay. Let's see here. Ooh. Came internationally, and I'm hoping there's going to be a note in here. Mimi's Daughters. Okay. Ooh, wow. Oh, this is some very nice uh, felted... What, uh, let's see, it looks like a fishing pole with a fish on the end. Uh, it has been, oop, it needs probably to be, oh, it's got a wire in there too. So it stays uh, in whichever way you put it. So I thought I was going to have to like steam it maybe to get it to be straight after it's been shipped all folded in half. But I can feel it's got a big stiff wire in there. That is extremely quality and it's all one 
continuous felted uh, piece. I mean, I guess, I don't know how felting works. I suppose you could make them separately and then stick them together. Actually, it looks like the fish has been uh, sewn onto the end, but this is all one piece, which is pretty cool. And the fish is really cute too. This is, this is great. And then there's also, it looks like an extra ribbon for the kittens to play with, which uh, is also, wow, the colors on that, the, the felting and the color work are very good. Mimi's daughters. Well, I guess that's all we know. No, all we know is now I sound like one of the kittens. I guess that's all we know. Uh, Snow Tiger Ninja 16. Thank you so much for the fishing uh, pole and ribbon. Buddy, you were going to play with this. There you go. Yeah, this is going to. All right. Maybe we need a slightly stronger uh, rod inside, or maybe we just need slightly weaker kittens. But this is fun toy for them. Oh, there we go. Okay. Ah, there we go. It's very cute, too. Oh, they're into it. All right. That's beautiful. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, the ribbon. Okay, let's take that out. Good. Well, oh, you're just going to tear it up. Okay, go for it. Get it. Oh, I guess this makes a good uh, kicker, doesn't it? Although this is so long, I certainly won't be leaving this out with them unsupervised. <sighs> oh, that's fun. Yeah, okay, you got that. This, every part of it is just as much fun. Okay, this is a box one of three. And there's only a few people that do that to us. And this one appears to be Ruth and Bob. So, let's see here. What do we have? Ooh. I think uh, it was Ruth and Bob that also sent the toffee. No, what, uh, one of the things that came straight to the house was from them, and I'm, I'm losing track of that, but uh, uh, I think it was that, so thank you for that. All right, this is... Uh, Dr. Deepa and Mr. Chris Jansen. Whoa, super official. Hey, buddy. Oh, wow. Squall really likes that fishing pot pole. Oh, this is adorable. It says, have yourself a meowy little Christmas with this uh, really cute orange kitty. With Oh, 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 you got me with your full claw right there, buddy. I know you didn't mean to. Okay. You're just riled up now because of your fishing pole. Ooh. Okay. Uh, anyway, a really cute orange kitty who is tangled up in some uh, lights and wearing a Christmas hat and has a, oh, has a very cute expression. It's a pop-up card. Somehow I didn't quite suspect that. So let's see. Is there a note inside as well? Pull here for note. Wow. There you go. Hello. Oh, there, let's pop it up. Uh, it looks like a whole Christmas, <laughs> it's a whole Christmas scene indeed. And it's got uh, little kittens all around on trees and shelves. Wow, there's one in the back there that looks just like Ari with the wide eyes and everything, wearing tiny, tiny little antlers and sitting on the uh, drawers, which have cat heads for uh, for knobs. And there's a lot of cute details in this one, but mostly the centerpiece here is the tree that is leaning over because it's got a big custard and trying to catch that uh, star on top. Very cute. Hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Merry Christmas. Hope all your Christmas wishes come true and that Santa is good to you. You both deserve the best for all you do uh, to help mom cats and their kittens. Not to mention the faculty hugs to Eddie. So have yourselves a Merry Christmas. Season's best. Bob and Ruth. Thank you. You guys uh, all are also uh, wonderful people that uh, I, I think it's so sweet how thoughtful you are, how thoughtful everyone is. I think I sort of alluded to this yesterday, but uh, I'm just impressed by, by people that are able to maintain that um, level of, of care and thoughtfulness for the people that they know in their lives. Um, I know DJ and I are both kind of uh, fundamentally introverted, and a lot of you are too, and still manage to be thoughtful, so I can't even use that as an excuse. I don't, I don't know what my excuse is, um, but... I'm so appreciative of that and that 
Uh, Bob and Ruth in particular, you guys have, uh, you know, you're, you're always sort of taking care of us and sending us uh, little things here and there that usually don't even turn up on the stream because they get sent straight to the house, but it's still so wonderful. And, uh, I, you know, I, DJ wouldn't want me to say any of that without, of course, and I, I, I blame it on her, but uh, she wouldn't want me to say any of that without also mentioning it. You probably shouldn't, you know, so you probably shouldn't. Um, but uh, but I, it is wonderful that you do. So thank you. Okay, so let's see what's in box one of three. We have a floral life blanket, and it is labeled for Cali, and it's got butterflies and flowers and bumblebees on it. It's super soft. Hi. I thought you were already gone for some reason. <laughs> okay. Did you see your Christmas village? I need to set it up a little better or something, but behind your Christmas trees on the, the your desk here. That's toffee. I yes, you probably should know. Take it because I, I, that stuff's so good. That's what I was telling you about. I, if I eat it, I'm just if I open it, it's gonna. Yeah. Oof. Uh, look behind your. Can you see it behind your trees? I need to maybe set it up a little nicer. Oh. It's, it's cute. Yeah. It fits. Yeah, it just needs a little more space between it and the trees. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Maggie's just gonna eat it anyway. Right. Oh, what are you doing, Paul? Knocking down all the Christmas cards. Well, I'm going to take this then. Okay. No, feel free. That's fine. Bye. Have fun today. Okay. Oh, this is for Gregorian, uh, for Greg, and it does. It's going to, uh, he's going to just disappear on this thing. He's going to be like his camouflage blanket. That's super cute. We have a tunnel, a blue polka dot tunnel. Never have too many tunnels for around the academy. And it's got little, this looks like a starter tunnel. It would be perfect for those kittens once they start running around. Because it's a little small. And it's got these fun little toys on it. I think that is ideal for them. Tuck that right back in there for now. Ooh, oh, these are so good. These are the cat dancer chasers. Um, I don't think we've had these around in a while but they last a long time and they have been something that has just been uh, a toy that, that everybody here has loved at some point. It's just a tiny piece of cardboard with a tiny piece of ribbon on it, uh, that felted ribbon, but they are legitimately good toys that uh, the cats love. All right, this one is from Monday. It's red with paw prints on it. And again, they're just all so soft. Uh, it even says on that one, Lux Collection for Holidays. Look at that, Holiday, uh, AKA Holly, Lux. Ooh. So uh, that's super orange too, I like that. That's a, that's a cool uh, pattern and color. It's uh, sort of a, like a sherbet, like an orange sherbet color, yeah. And then we have, uh, this is for the Kitten Academy and faculty, a Christmas blanket with this smiling Santa all over it and little Christmas trees, but it's mostly about Santa doing different expressions. And he is super cute. We have a toy wand with a star and a feather on it for Callie. Starry Snowflake, I see. It's a starry snowflake and it has a smile and it says with catnip. Uh, it's very cute, and the, the string that it's on, too, is like a big piece of uh, woven uh, twine that uh, just adds to the appeal. So, and then finally, something that says, Kitten Academy faculty, Meowy Christmas. It says, Bed Sure Comfy Pet. Hmm. All right, let's see. Let's find out. Oh, well, it's very Christmassy, and it says it's for the faculty. Well, I see a uh, candy cane stripes here. Let's see if we can figure this out. Oh, it's, uh, it's in two layers of plastic, so. Ah, there we go. Oh, wow, this does look nice. It, it sort of looks like one of these shapes, uh, but it's got a cute little label on the front. It's got little uh, red pips and uh, this piping around the edges that is like a candy cane piping. What are you getting at in there, kiddo? All right. 
I just smell everything in the box. Wow, okay, it is. Yeah, it's a very similar to that. Oh, okay. It's very similar to this one, and it's perfect for the Christmas room. And because we're right here and you said it's for faculty, I'm just going to put it right out. It might even be time to wash this one that Custard and everybody have been sleeping in all season already. So uh, we'll see, but thank you. Excellent. Okay, the rest of these I'm going to tuck right in here for us to carry around easily. So thank you for that. There we go. Oh, knock it all down. That's good. Maybe I will keep this out to, uh, to throw some of these around. Since there's no label on it that says it's for anyone in particular. I just assume that that's fine for us to use around. These kids will like it, but they've got so many toys out right now. I, I honestly, I know it's, uh, a, I don't know, I feel like it's a kind of a strange thing to go and try to clean like all this stuff up and sort of, um, you know, uh, get rid of a bunch of the things that have been around for a while. I don't know why that seems like such a weird thing to do, but I do think it's something that I need to do soon. Yeah, you were already tangled up in that, huh? You're just going to take it right with you. <laughs> oh, I caught something. Oh, wow, that bait really works. Um, anyway, no, I guess my point was, though, that I just, I've got to gather up all the toys that we've already got and uh, probably get rid of any that have been here for too long. And uh, after the, the I, these are this morning just served as a reminder that uh, it's probably time for me to just clear out a bunch of stuff. Um, you know, as we've lived here, we've sort of been accumulating a lot of things and uh, I think it might be good to, to do a thorough, thorough spring cleaning. I might be a couple months early though, so we'll see if it even gets done before spring. Uh, <laughs> all right, where was I? I that's neither here nor there. Uh, is this another box that's a part of that? No, it's not. Okay, well, we'll get the box too at some point. I see, I see it over there in the pile. We don't have to go right in order, do we? Oh, that's okay. I, I felt something in there and I thought maybe I'd missed a bag, but no, that's just the stuff I put in there. Okay. I don't know what I was trying to say there other than I just need to do some spring cleaning, I guess. Um, and because the cats love all this, I think that's what it is. It's because the cats love all this stuff. They don't care if it's been here for a long time and it smells funky and, you know, it's uh, sort of getting in the way of, of cleaning properly. They don't care about any of that. They just love it. Um, but I think every now and then we've got to do something that's just for us humans. <laughs> that includes uh, clean, clearing stuff up a bit. So that's what I was trying to say. This is the note. Okay to read on stream with a little musical note. So let's see here. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is uh, a wreath, and it's all done in a, like a shiny gold leaf. <laughs> it says, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty, mom, cats, and kittens. What better reason than the holiday season for wishing all of life's best things for you? Thank you for all that you do for the mom, cats, and kittens. Your love and kindness shows in everything you do. Thank you for allowing us to go on this adventure with you. I've learned so much from watching the Kitten Academy. I'm a daily fur baby watcher, but K.A. has the best discorders on YouTube. Sending lots of spoogles for the kitties. Aw, K.A. Mom 16. The beds and toys may be used or distributed as you see fit. All right. And there's also a bunch of cute little stickers of kittens looking at mice on the inside here. Yeah, I can show you that. There's no reason not to show you. Very cute. Also, I like the way that uh, you had to fit more on here so that the, the words are like a, like a pyramid as you go down and it gets longer. Uh, I do that kind of thing all the time when I'm writing where I'm like, this isn't going to work. I just got to modify this right in the middle. And I wrote in pen. Just keep rolling. Uh, all right. Super relatable. This is the Grass Patch Hunting Box. Oh, man, these guys need one of these. I think we should put this out. Right meow. Oh, but where do we, maybe if I slide it right in front of the camera. All right, this is a, this is a fun toy. This is just a, like it says, it's just a box that has some balls inside and some little holes for them to play through. It's always a fun toy. Uh, but then this one sets itself apart from the rest by having some AstroTurf on top. Oh yeah, there we go. So 
That's fun. I like also it's got the holes in the side, extra engaging. Is anybody going to come over here so I can show you how to play with this? Nobody? Nobody. Okay. I'm going to literally put it right in front of the camera, and then we'll, I'll see with you whether that is going to obscure the view. Oh, maybe it's too close now that they're checking it out. I thought maybe it was going to take a while for them to come over. <laughs> well, Sprout understands what the game is. But here, Sprout, come here. Check it out right over here. What are you kids smelling all over? It smells like AstroTurf. This is a very cute little slipper bed. I mean, I don't know what you would... Oh, oh my. Okay, there's a little bonus in here. So this is to make it stand up. <laughs> it looks like... Uh, that's a clever thing. I do that. I actually bought a whole spool of wire to do that same thing for our beds myself. And it looks like if we just do this... That's the trouble with these slipper beds is that I, the cats very seldom like to use them because they don't usually stand up well enough. Um, but this one, let's see if I can make this fit right in here and stand it up. Oh yeah, there we go. Now I got it in the right spot. This one looks like it's gonna be very sturdy and probably perfect for a little kitty to get into. I can see you wanna get into it right now. Um, normally when we get stuff like that, it's, uh, I've put some of them out and they, they very rarely get into them. Like I say, uh, because they just fall down they don't even, they sleep on top. They love sleeping on top. That wire in there is going to uh, make that effective. Okay. Here we have seven cat toys. Oh man. And this little gold mouse in here on this pink heart, pink carts. Oh yeah. Okay. So we got a little pink heart and we got this super gold mouse. My goodness, we got some uh, plastic balls, a mylar ball, and then uh, like a rubber Charlie ball. That's Wow, that's serious. I'm gonna step on that and get poked. Uh, it is, it's kind of pokey. I mean, it's also kind of bendy. Those are fun. Uh, I would normally, I'd put them out right now, but I was just talking about how I want to try to clean up a little before we start doing that. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how ambitious I am after I work out. That's cute too. Oh my goodness. Uh, this is super soft and I just put another bed out, but look at how floofy that is. And they're going to knead in this. This is just like uh, you saw, uh, was it Sprout kneading on that blanket uh, upstairs? This is exactly like that blanket and they're going to be all over it. That's, that's a great material for one of these beds. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, let's fit some of these back in here though. And then we can distribute them at the appropriate time. Uh, thank you so much. Wow, that's that's uh, that's awesome. And I don't know, I don't know which note I just put away. Um, but this is stuff that they are going to enjoy. Come here, Sprout. Let me show you how this works. Sometimes they've got it. Oh, there's little baffles. There's baffles on the inside too, so that the little balls can't just roll from one spot to another unimpeded. That's a cool idea. And I don't think I've seen any that really do that. Also, probably so that when they get on top, it doesn't get crushed. Um, but it serves. It can, it can be both things. Let's see. Come here. Hey, hey, stop eating the cards and look at this. Look, you're going to get this? Oh, hang on. It goes in here. You ready? Right, right here. Look, look. You got to watch where it's going. No, you got you to. Gotta... I know you're doing something, but why don't you just look over here for a minute? Uh, teaspoon, what about you? What about anybody? What is going on back here? I move this thread we just put out. Here, we'll put it up here. Now I think maybe we can see a little better whatever there they're at. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. Well, I think they're going to have a lot of fun with that uh, once I figure out where to put it and once they discover how it works <laughs> someday. Someday when I can get a cat's attention around here. Wow. Uh, Okay, just slide it on over. Oh, oh wow, see now that got their attention. Oh my. Okay, this is heavy, very, very heavy. Uh, oh, oh wow. That's almost too heavy to be food. Uh, oh, this is from Rhonda. Okay, Rhonda. And oh wow. That's a box in a box. The Amazon classic box in a box. And it must be food because there's a sell by date on it. Been a while since I've been able to send something. Yeah, I'm glad to hear from you. You know, you don't have to send something like that. Um, but 
Uh, I do. Um, I did. I w- yes, uh, Rhonda. Okay, so it's been a while since I've been able to send something. Enjoy your gift. Um, you put enjoy in quotes, Rhonda. It makes me wonder uh, what I'm not going to like about it. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I'm going to enjoy it. Um, oh, if I can even lift it out of the box in a box. I mean, this is supremely heavy. What on earth? Uh, oh. Did you hear that? Okay. Oh, hey, this is so useful, especially with those kids coming in. It is a 25 pound, so you know exactly how heavy it is, bag of the wheat sweet scoop. Uh, the litter that we use for the kittens before they've learned not to eat the clay litter. Uh, this is this is one of the my in my opinion one of the best non clay uh, clumping. There's somebody up the tree. Falls all oh wow almost all the way up. I mean I think getting everybody else into it too. Huh. Okay. Squall away. Well, uh, this is the the uh, sweet scoop the kitty litter again that we use for the little kittens that are. Um, you know, not quite uh, ready to go in the clay clumping litter because they eat it. Kittens, kittens, when they're young, before they've really figured out the litter box, the, the first thing they, they always do is eat the litter. Um, and uh, usually a fair amount of it. But, hey, buddy. Oh, oh, now, yeah. this is. Oh, yeah, he loves the ball tracks. This is going to be his thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, get it. Oh, yeah. That's a teaspoon toy right there. Uh, anyway, th- this is perfect. I think we were actually out of it, and it's going to be about three weeks before those kids are going to really need this. So uh, that came just in time, and I would not have thought. I, I think I would have forgotten to order it, and the day would have come, and I would have been like, all right, kids, well, we're not going to start your litter box training on time because we're out. Uh, so that's perfect. Thank you very much, Rhonda. That, uh, that's, it's great to hear uh, from you, and it is uh, a perfect item for these kittens. So, thank you very much. And I'm going to use the outer box of the box in a box to put all the discarded stuff into. So now it's a little bit more organized until I get to bring it out for recycling. Okay. Somebody knocked down all the cards except for the pop up one. And look at that. This one's wrapped up like a Christmas present. Uh, the Walmart box with this shiny, shiny ribbon uh, from Joe and Halfers. And there's these fragile stickers on the top. So I guess I probably shouldn't have just rolled it over like that. Yeah, that's he's going to love that thing. Wow. That's still his favorite thing to do is to play with the balls in the track or the balls in the tower. Uh, he has branched out a little bit though. Like I've seen him, you know, like playing with springs a bit here and there and chasing them and batting them around the room and zooming. He's getting really good at zooming around. Uh, he's, he's really like a, a late developer, uh, which I guess maybe is what you, I don't know what to expect with his heart condition, but uh, I feel like, He's sort of making that transition from being a tiny kitten into being uh, a, a teenage kitten, like all of his litter mates did six months ago. I feel like he's just now getting there. Um, in a lot of ways, it's not just physiological. It's also like the way that his, his he seems to be like thinking about things and playing differently. Uh, but uh, it's really been cute to see. Oh, another thing that's about that that's good is he it seems like he's starting to actually like the food that we feed him uh, and eats a ton all of a sudden. It's just like in the last week, he just, just starts like he goes all in now on the eating. I guess he's, he's growing now. It's this growing phase, so he's got to eat even more. So that's cute and good. This is a ye old knife guard and the card. All right, I think there's another pop-up card here. Let's see. Also... Uh, this is a very, like, all the K.A. Christmas, we've got the little gnomes here, and we've got the, the truck carrying the Christmas tree in the back, exactly like ours is. That Christmas tree has gotten very limp. That's one of the things I've been planning on putting the wire into, speaking of the wire. That's, uh, you know, yeah. All right. Uh, 
so this is a kitty looking at the Christmas tree ornaments and saying, thinking to itself, I wonder if it will bounce. And then it knocks it off and it breaks. And the kitty thinks, well, maybe this one. <laughs> That's great. So Merry Christmas with love, Joe and Halfers. Okay, that's a cute little card. And this is The Note. Ooh, and The Donation. Thank you so much for that. Aw. And also we have a Stop and Shop gift card here that says, I heart you teaspoon on it. And I think you can see uh, why it is I heart you teaspoon. Buddy, buddy, it looks just like you. Look, look, it's your picture on this card. Yeah, what do you think? That's something, huh? He's like, what are you trying to show me? I can't eat that. Thank you so much for that. And the Amazon. Oh, too kind. I want to thank you. Oh, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, I want to thank you for opening your home and devoting it to mom cats and their uggo kittens. The fact that you open your home to all of us watching on YouTube and chatting with us on your Discord channel means so much to so many people, myself included. So many mom cats and kittens have been adopted because of your efforts. You have created an amazing community of cat folk, not actual cat people, but people who love cats. <laughs> I'm glad you allowed some Discord members to assist you with the media, giving you more time to devote not only to the kittens, but also to make Kitten Academy even better. Yeah, I don't know if I've paid the dividends uh, for that yet, but I promise they're coming. And that certainly has made my life easier uh, and, and more enjoyable. So I, I really owe a lot of thanks to them too. Um, it was wonderful to meet you, you both in person at KACon this year. It was my first time going, and I loved it. I'm happy DJ loved Teaspoon's journey to get there in his little red car. I might make it a yearly thing, though he might need a slightly bigger car by then. Enclosed are some treats for you both, as well as some festive toys for the cats. There's a gift card for you to use for some things for the kitties you, uh, you purchase on Amazon, like the boxy cat litter. I also enclosed a gift card to a local grocery store to buy Teaspoo his chimkin. Uh, there's a special gift for DJ as well. Happers wanted DJ to have one of her whiskers for her collection. I wish you and all the students and faculty a very Merry Christmas and a joyous New Year. To all listening, when Mr. A reads this part, Till, Serenity, Drizzle, and Sprout all need loving homes. You've seen how amazing and unique they all are. Just apply at kitten.academy. So they can leave fur on your furniture and hog all the blankets at night. They can't wait to meet you. Happy holidays, Joe and Happers. And we have the whisker taped right here to the note. Thank you so much for that. I'm going to put the whisker and the note over there. I'm going to put these over here. And, ooh. oh, wow. This is a lot of stuff that is uh, apparently for me and for DJ. We have... Ooh, Smokehouse Almonds. Those are great. A classic. My dad used to always have those and cashews like 100% of the time. The Dewey's Bakery Triple Ginger Cookies that are familiar because I believe uh, you or someone sent these last year. And they all got eaten uh, probably way too quickly. Um, this is... <laughs> This is a t-shirt. It says dad jokes with a loading bar. That is also very cute, dad jokes. I like it. And this is a nice t-shirt material too. It's very light. That's uh, going to be a perfect summer t-shirt. And there's so much more in here. French butter cookies. Wow. Uh, sea salt caramel butter cookies. That sounds really good. And you know they're French because it's uh, the cookie itself is wearing a striped shirt and, and uh, um, uh, uh, why, why is the name for the hat not coming to me? Uh, it doesn't matter. It's standing in front of the Eiffel Tower. Um, that is ridiculous. It, uh, it's such a stereotype. Cookie, do you know what a stereotype you're being? Oh, my goodness. Uh, let's see. We also have Italian soft amaretti. Uh, and there's a guy on the front who looks like Mario with a big mustache and a red hat. No, I'm, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> because that would be weird, wouldn't it? Uh, we have the organic India tea, Tulsi breakfast tea. We have the organic India uh, immune tea. Ooh, cardamom tea. That sounds really good. Uh, honey chamomile tea and ooh, raspberry peach tea. 
Those all sound amazing. Wow. DJ was just watching a thing about green tea uh, grown in Japan on YouTube that was fascinating, actually. I didn't know very much about it. Um, there's like different, all the different preparations of green tea are based, you know, like they, they cut the leaves and they cut the stems and then I don't know why it matters. I just thought it was really interesting. The, the thing I found, I guess, most surprising is that it's the exact same tea leaves that uh, become green tea that become like a oolong tea, which to me seem like vastly different flavors and things, but apparently all come from the same place initially. Um, so that's something. Uh, anyway, I'm excited to try some different teas, and I bet DJ will be too. And then we have this amazing, we've got uh, little gingerbread um, toys and some very Christmas colored little sparkly toy balls. He's going to be at that thing forever. That is so wonderful. Uh, thank you very much for all of this. I think what I'm going to do is use your box to put the stuff that has to go, say, to the kitchen or to our snack um, zone. We're going to have to. I'm probably going to have to get like an annex for the snacks at this point, everybody. Like a snack annex. Uh, that's not, again, that's just words. That's not a joke. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, okay, i got to get up to move some more boxes over here. So give me one second. Here we go. So that's box one of three that we've already seen. Put this up on top of it, and then... This is box two of three, and a random box, and then we have box three of three. It looks like today's mailbag is almost entirely Ruth and Bob, uh, by volume, almost entirely Ruth and Bob by volume. That's a you know, interesting turn of phrase there. There is, I think, one more box that did come straight to the house, and I was told on Discord that I think it was intended to be open during the mailbag, so let me get it right now while I'm up. I got two boxes. I don't know if this one is. Uh, I don't know if this one's intended to be open on mailbag or not. But this is the brew cookies that I was mentioning, and uh, every year, Doctor Brew uh, sells cookies that she makes to help fund her mission that she goes on annually, uh, which I thought is that's a very cool thing to do. Oh. And the very top here, this is so wonderful how unambiguous it is because the note says, please read on stream. Not just okay to read on stream, but please read on stream. And it has a little tiny angel kitty in a cup. It's adorable. Looks, it looks um, a lot like Jamestown style. I can't, I don't think there's any way I can get this open without cutting right through it, but it's super cute. Okay, I am just going to have to... Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, goodness. Well, you did your job. Okay, please read on stream. Perfect. Thank you for uh, writing that on there. This is a uh, watercolor of a uh, little tabby kitty and paw prints. Ooh, and inside it says... Oh, oh, interesting. Okay, dear Mr. A and... This is not what I expected, but dear Mr. A and DJ. Meowy cat, Miss Love. Xenathon and Raylene Mombi, who was apparently the uh, oracle that guessed when the kittens would be born. Lily Cat's mom also. P.S. The cookies freeze very well. P.P.S. The card was made by Julie G.G. It looks like Eddie. Well, it certainly does. Um, that's so sweet of you guys. So I guess uh, this some of these are probably cookies that came from the mission sale. And I guess some of them are cookies that came from uh, whoever guessed uh, the... So that's another thing that, that Brew has always done with their cookies is whenever we have a new mom cat in, uh, there's a spreadsheet where everybody puts in the dates that they think the kittens will be born. And whoever comes the closest gets Brew cookies. Um, but 
she doesn't ship them internationally as far as I know. So sometimes when people are international or when they just don't want more cookies, they say to send them to me instead. Uh, well, they, they actually mostly go to DJ. Uh, Bruce uh, Butterscotch cookies are something that DJ uh, loves and will keep like in, in her secret stash for a very long time. So, uh, Okay, to read on stream, dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and esteemed KA faculty, mom, cats, and kittens, during the December 9th mailbag, as Mr. A was recounting the travails of the Amazon driver who did his best to carefully unload several heavy packages of boxy cat in damaged boxes, someone on Discord commented, Mr. A should leave cookies for that driver, and I thought, hey, Dr. Brew is doing a cookie sale, and thus the idea to send two dozen brew cookies to the Academy, one dozen for the Academy staff, Maggie, you have to share, and the other, as you see fit. Ideally for that specific Amazon driver, but as I'm not sure how many Amazon drivers deliver to the Academy, especially during the busy holiday season, I don't want my good intentions to become a logistical challenge on the shiny butler's already extensive to-do list. Happy Meowladays to all, Purrs and Meows from Lily Cat's mom, Lily Cat's dad, Twin A, Twin B, Izzy Cat, Flat Easy, and Angel Cat Lily. Aww. That's super sweet. It's, again, so thoughtful. Uh, I think I mentioned that I um, I made it like I went, I've never reviewed an Amazon delivery before, but after that delivery and after I saw what happened, I, I went and made it a, a specific. I, I did review it very well. Um, and I also tried to keep an eye out the next day to see if I could catch him because I wanted to give him a tip if I could find the same guy coming by. Um, but I, I, I didn't see him the next day and I didn't manage to see any of them for the rest of the week. Uh, so I, I sort of missed that opportunity. Um, I don't mind at all putting these out there with a note or even hopefully uh, trying again to keep an eye out and see if I can determine it's the same guy or not. I hope that would be the case. Either way, I so appreciate you saying specifically that I, I don't have to manage to get it to the same guy exactly. Uh, which I think is is really kind of you, and uh, does prevent me from see, feeling some extra anxiety. I think I think that's super. That's thoughtfulness on top of thoughtfulness. It's just wonderful people in this this community. Uh, it's it's great, and everybody says that I've put together a great community, but I can't take any credit for that. If I tried to do that again, I, I wouldn't know what I did or how to do it. I think, as with so many things in life. Uh, we just, we got lucky is the, is, the, is the way you'd say it, you know, it's a, it's a combination of luck and uh, just good folks. So, yeah. Uh, oh, so, uh, let's see here. Wow. So, at the bottom of all of that, there are uh, uh, butterscotch cookies, more butterscotch cookies. I think they're labeled here. It says brew cookies. Uh, mm, oh, Mr. A, I see, Mr. A. And this one says, the, it's sort of faded and it's like in this light green, but this also says brew cookies, Mr. A. And then, and then, this just says brew cookies and brew cookies. I, I don't know what that is. I think it also says Mr. A, so they probably all say that, Mr. A, yes. Okay, just so you would know where to ship them, I guess. Oh, you must come so, bake so many cookies. Like, I, I can't even imagine. This is what goes to us and uh, then so much more for everybody else. But these look good. They're making my mouth water. Um, but I know the ones that are for us, I should give entirely to DJ because she does not eat very many cookies overall. And these are ones that she's always liked. So thank you. Oh, thank you for that. Okay. Wow. Uh, uh, that's fantastic. I wasn't sure if that was intended for me to, uh, to sort of open on the stream. But uh, I'm glad that I did so that I um, found out that it was intended for, for me to open on the stream. So that's perfect. Okay. Uh, let's do box two of three here real quick and see what that's all about. Teaspoon, what are you looking for? Is there some big catnip in there? He's sniffing around these boxes in a very interested way. Oh, okay. We have a big white blanket for um, for Friday. That's gonna He's going to look really good on that. And this one's probably a matching one for, oh, Julian. Okay, perfect. 
And again, these are these are made out of material. They're just oh, and one for Monday. That's that's too cute. They all are gonna match. Adorable, and they're gonna probably love to knead on these. They're so soft. We have uh, water wipes. We can never have too many, and this reminds me I should probably start those uh, warming up. Although I haven't had to help out so far with um, Cal's kids, she's just doing a good job with them. So that's wonderful. Uh, you know, normally I end up needing to help quite a bit, and so far she's got it managed. But she is she's losing a lot of weight uh, and getting super skinny, as they do. All mom cats do, but I always try whatever I can to uh, keep them, um, you know, keep a little bit of weight on them. That's important. Um, of course, they all recover really well. I mean, you look at Till now, and uh, Till was always a big cat. Like you can, I, I said right from the beginning, she's bigger than most of our mom cats. Uh, and as skinny as she got, she definitely has put it back on. Um, she's not overweight. She's like perfectly healthy, perfectly zoomy. But it's good to see that recovery and to know that you know she's that, that they're all they all get over it, you know, in due time. But uh, yeah, it can be a lot. Okay, uh, you sent a churu and fancy feast and baby food. Those are all super useful for us. And a bag of little mice and mylar balls and balls with feathers and uh, the, the ones with the bells and even a golf ball. I mean, a fake golf ball for cats. Okay. And at the bottom we have, oh, hey, this is great. DJ was just on, um, like, yes, yesterday and the day before was uh, just getting on Chewy to order more of this four teaspoon. It's one of the things that he eats in his regular diet. Uh, as it says, it's not in it intended to be an entire diet um, somewhere. I guess maybe it doesn't say on the outside of the box, but if you look at the cans up close, they're like, this is not a complete food. You've got to supplement it with, you know, like a regular food. So this is not all that we feed him, but he gets this every day mixed in with his chicken and some supplements uh, to help keep him going. And this stuff is like magic, as it turns out, like all the cats... If you have a, a fussy cat, you know, we're always looking for something that will get cats that don't want to eat to eat. And it seems like this one is uh, is good for that, too, in general. Just um, like anything you put. It's got such a terrible smell, too. I mean, you might like it or not. I don't know. But it, I it, I do not enjoy smelling it all the time. Um, I, maybe I'm just not used to it. It probably doesn't smell any worse than the Nulo that we normally feed. But I'm used to that kind of smell. So I don't enjoy the smell, but they do very much. I think that's one of the things that makes it appeal so much to them. So this is great. And this is obviously uh, for us to have for teaspoon. So I will put it uh, over with the rest of his. And that is, uh, that's wonderful that we will go through that. I, he just ran out of his chicken and stuff last night. I used up the very last and there's actually uh, six big uh, chicken thighs, like huge ones in the Instant Pot right now. Uh, having just been cooked this morning and waiting for me to take them out and shred them and put them all together like I do for him. So, so uh, yeah, perfect. Thank you. Uh, all right. I don't, I don't actually know where to set these now. So kind of messed that up. I want to put them with the other stuff that you sent. All right, I'm just going to stack them up out of the, out of the way for a minute, I think. Yeah. Okay. Wow. All right, this is the other box that just showed up at the house, and it's on the front. It's got this really big Merry Xmas with all these uh, partying cats. Very cute. Right, let's see if I can get into this. I've been staring at this in the front hall for a while now. So let's find out, finally, what is inside. Again. <laughs> Got it. Good. Oh, the notes. Plural. Plural notes. Oh, it's such a beautiful bag. Oh, my goodness. And this is really pretty. I think I can stand this up while we read the notes. Look how pretty that is. I love it. And with the ski on uh, the, yes, uh, uh, skate. Skate's the word. I'm like, skate. Yes. Okay. Uh, the notes. <laughs> so there's a uh, cat checking out at a retail store counter 
and the cat who is purchasing, there's a box on the counter, which is what the cat is buying. And the clerk is saying, if this box is a gift, I can put it in a gift box. And the cat uh, that's buying it is saying, this is the best store ever which is super cute. Uh, when uh, That was always my joke about the container store. Like, do you have to pay a checkout for the bags? But now you have to pay for the bags everywhere at checkout. So that joke does not even make sense anymore. Um, but this is also like the Amazon box in a box. Maybe that's why they do it for the cats. So uh, inside it says, have the best Christmas ever. Merry Christmas. Love the Kitten Academy alumni. Aw. There are multiple notes. This one says, read me first, not to be read on stream. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Okay, how about the other one? I don't even know what that means yet, so uh, we will find out. And to be read on mailbag. Perfect. I love the directions that make it really clear. So, okay, dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and esteemed faculty, the alumni hope you enjoy the enclosed gift as a sign of our appreciation and gratitude for everything you've done for all the previous, current, and future students of KA. Honestly, I haven't done much for the future students at this point. Uh, uh, how does time work? I'm going to have to go talk to Calendar about that. Every day, we are the lucky ones who get to experience the joy of having KA cats and kittens in our homes. We do not take that for granted. We know how truly special they are. Enclosed, you will find a book of Adushin Tales. Ooh, uh, let's see here, hang on. Well, I'm opening this, before I read the rest of your letter, uh, let me say that the picture frame is still one of my favorite things ever. The fact that it still gets updated with pictures, I tell people every chance I get about that and how wonderful it is. And uh, I'm looking at it every day, it's right there in the kitchen. Uh, and I just, I just saw one that really stood out to me yesterday, love. It was just a big, like, single photo of Mural that uh, perfectly captured, like, her little silly smile and her paws. It's very cute. Okay, you can't take that away. No, I just tied it on there. So, uh, a book of Adushin Tales written by the adopters of your amazing graduate, graduates. Each story is a personal tale of love. Oh, man, this sounds like this might be even more special than the picture frame. The artwork on the front of the book was created by 18th Claw, and the dedication at the beginning was written by Miss Melly. And they are amazing artists who do, uh, uh, so far, um, I think, two editions of uh, uh, poetry, illustrated poetry uh, that is amazing, just amazing. Uh, in addition to the book, we have continued your, oh, this, so, okay, I have been confused uh, for, about being certain about who the Universal Yums, that's the treat box I was talking about, are from, um, but it is the alumni. So in addition, to, I mean, I assumed, but I don't, I don't know that it was ever specifically spelled out. Uh, it probably was way back at the beginning. In addition to the uh, book, I'm sorry, let me start over. Uh, the artwork on the front of the book was created by 18th Claw. And the dedication at the beginning was written by Miss Melly. We can't, oh wow, this is a serious book. This is thick. Oh, oh, it's so cute. A douche and tails. And we have uh, an orange kitty that is snuggling on the shoulder of someone it, uh, wearing a sweater. Um, I don't know for sure from the context who that is. But it's beautiful. Look at this little orange kitty, and you can see the sweater and her, her hair here. And it just looks so happy. Oh, there we go. Now it's a little less glossy. Maybe you can see better. Just so happy about it. So uh, the artwork on the front, 18th Claw, the dedication at the beginning, Miss Malley, we cannot thank them enough for their partnership with this project. In addition to the book, we'll continue to your Universal Yum subscription for another year. We will also be donating to On Angel's Wings and Dawes in the approximate amount of $675. Thank you again for everything, the alumni. That's wonderful. It is so wonderful. Uh, I, don't, I don't sufficiently know how to express my thanks, um, but let me say that I do think it's wonderful that, that you continue to donate to On Angel's Wings and to Dawes, but 
uh, I feel like, you know, we are sort of alumni of On Angel's Wings, and I bet, I bet they so appreciate that still, you know, sort of, um, uh, what was that phrase I used earlier, paying dividends uh, in that way, you know, it, it's not, it's not business, but uh, I think, I think that's got to be wonderful. It's wonderful for me, uh, you know, just to, to think of, so I, I think it's got to be wonderful for them. Uh, this is also like a perfect tissue fit box for these kids with the tissues already in it. I just want to see if I can do this without like putting any addresses on it. Shouldn't be, shouldn't ought to be. There is kind of one here that might not be. I don't know. They're they're so tired out right now. Anyway, we'll figure that out. Uh, so uh, thank you for that. Um, I just I want to check this note again. I'll have to take a look at more about that, but let's just see if we can read the uh, dedication. I also wonder if this book sounds so fantastic. Oh my goodness. Wow. Did everybody write their own little stories for this? Oh, this is amazing. Each adopter has, uh, what is your KA adoption slash love story? And then they've each written their answer and it's got pictures of their little kittens and what their how they came to kitten academy and how they came to adopt that kitten oh guys this is something i all right <clears throat> dear dr dj and mr a this book is dedicated to you a precious team of two amazing humans who envisioned quite a dream it now has been a few years since it got underway the brilliant plan that you conceived, I can't do this, um, that soon became KA, yes, our dear alma mater, Kitten Academy, I can't, I'm not going to read this in, in a proper meter, sorry, um, it's why we're where we are and how our families came to be, and here within these pages, presented with great care, are the addition stories that our humans want to share, because they're very grateful and we are grateful, too, that we were brought together. Yes, we owe so much to you. The reminiscences here are stories of success. They're testaments to love leading to lasting happiness. For love, above all else, is the hallmark of K.A. That love instills a quality we carry to this day. And it delights our humans. The special K.A. glow that emanates from all of us, we proudly let it show. How can we ever thank you or ever make you see just how much joy you've fostered with this great community from all alumni families? You mean a lot to us, but since you're both so humble, we'll try not to make a fuss. We hope that this book gives you at least a little clue of how much you have blessed us with the special work you do and how much we're behind you cheering you on each day as you leave. Uh, thank you so much to uh, everyone who participated. It's just Unbelievable. Wow. Uh, are these in uh, chronological order, perhaps? Because it starts all the way back at Yale and uh, goes all the way through. They look like they might be. It's hard for me to tell. Uh, I'm looking for anybody I know is for sure out of order that would give it away. <laughs> no, I think they are in chronological order. Uh, probably. Wow, it, it's uh, so many of them. It's uh, 121 pages overall. And uh, I'm going to guess there's uh, 60 or 70 uh, stories altogether. Here's Yale. Wow. I don't want to get this wet. <laughs> That's just amazing. Thank you so much. Um, uh, I wonder if, if um, you know, is this uh, just for us or if it's something that anybody can read? Because I know people have got to also be interested in it, but I wouldn't want it, you know, the, if any of the adopters sort of wrote, um, you know, uh, with the idea that it was exclusively going to DJ and I, they may have written things that aren't for everybody, and that's okay. Um, so I don't know, but uh, if it is, I would love to know um, if 
everybody has a place that they could see some of these because this is so special. Oh my goodness. And uh, not only was, you know, there obviously a lot of work put in by each individual adopter, but then uh, each entry is illustrated several times with photographs that have also had their names put on to look nice and some photos sent in by the adopters themselves. This is just one of the, the most special things. I, it's wonderful. So they each say, um, uh, oh, I see some of them have additional questions on them too. When, when and how did you fall in love with your alumni? What is the reason? Oh, <laughs> what is the reason why you keep adopting from KA? <laughs> I guess not everybody was asked that one. Uh, that's so cute. What made you decide to adopt your alum? Oh, fantastic. Well, uh, thank you to, uh, to everybody that was involved in putting this together. What a project. And I had, I had no idea, a complete surprise. Uh, that is uh, an amazing Christmas uh, gift. Thank you so much. I've got to put that someplace safe where DJ will see it uh, when she gets home. So, wow. Um, I, I guess I'll put it back in here for now and uh, carry the whole thing up with, uh, with this. Uh, which was the note that came with this? I want to put the note with it too. Uh, and the bonus note, where did I just put that? The one that said, don't read. Uh, oh, it's already in there. Okay, good. Wow. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, that was just, that was something. Okay. Oh, we still got a couple more boxes to go. Oh, I don't know how we keep going after that. <clears throat> Let me get it together. Okay. Wow. That's just been sitting in our front hall for a while. And I, I had no idea that that, oh my goodness. Okay. Um, We'll get through this, everybody. Ooh, perfect. Hey, look at that. Just in time for the tiny whinies. For the tiny, for the tiny, tiny hineys. <laughs> well, that's good. Uh, for the tiny, 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 tiny hineys. Say that three times fast. Something always needed for the babies. From Joe and Halfers. And it is perfect Pampers sensitive. So we got even more wipes. And uh, yeah, I've got to get the, the warmer out and uh, use that. So now we've got a bunch of them. Actually, here, we can carry these all together in here. That's ideal. All right. Thank you so much, Joe and Hoppers. Thank you very much. Those are perfect. Good timing. Ooh. All right. One more box, three of three. And then I think that was everything. I don't remember there being anything else around the house that I have to go find for you. I hope. I don't know if I can take another one of those. <laughs> wow. Okay. Aw. Oh, wow. Hey, this is so cute. Uh, it's got that's a postcard. The only thing self-cleaning in this house is the cat. Yeah, no kidding. Um, it says, hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Most of this box is for under your tree for Christmas, except a few unwrapped items, uh, bed, and Christmas toys for cats. Have a great Christmas, Bob and Ruth. Gosh, uh, you guys said so much, and it's wonderful. And I love you saying, uh, um, you know, this is for under the tree, because I, I know I've said it before, but... Every time someone sends us a wrapped gift, I never know if I'm supposed to open it right then on mailbag or, or put it under the tree for Christmas. And it's been so nice having some things under the tree to make it look nice. Uh, I know the room is, uh, we, we, this year we made a real effort to put out like every Christmas thing we own, and this is probably half of it. Uh, so we haven't quite succeeded. Uh, but I know it makes the whole room kind of busy. <laughs> uh, it's, it's nice though. Okay, so. Let's see, this says for Dr. DJ from Bob and Ruth, we have a, look at that, a Christmas hat that's got cat ears on it. Um, I've been wearing around one of those. Oh, look, there's one for me too. Perfect. Well, I'm going to wear this one right now. I don't know where mine is, the other one. Now, uh, this is pretty different from mine too, and it matches the one that DJ will have. So, oh, hey, that's cute. 
All right. I don't know how visible that is. And I, DJ would yell at me for having the label still on. Ah, ooh, wow. Okay, I got it. Santa Paws Elf Hat. Oh, I see. That's why it's green striped. That's the way the elf hats are. I think I do that. Okay. Uh, we have a Christmas Catmas uh, dish towel that has a cute little cartoon of a kitty on it. Uh, I can't I can't move it for us to see, though. <laughs> it's got the stripe right across the middle of it. Uh, I can see how cute it is, though. There's a drawing of it right there that you probably can't see. This says, Merry Christmas to Kitten Academy from Ruth and Bob. Thank you. Um, I know this is for Under the Tree. We're going to have to make a little bit of room here because, uh, can you see that we have, uh, who is that? That's Drizzle under there? It looks like Drizzle. One of them's right there looking at me from the bed. That's so cute, the brand new bed. That looks like Sprout, and this looks like Drizzle. I can't see either collar, so I'm just having to go by their features. Okay, so we'll put that one right there. Oh, my goodness, there's a big one, I think. I think this is, uh, oh, it sounds like underwear. Uh, okay, for Kitten Academy from Bob and Ruth. Oh, man, wow, this is nice. I gotta, I'll got organize these under here uh, later. Um, wow, there's so much more. Okay, this is beautiful. It says, fa-la-la -la blanket. And indeed, the entire blanket is the words, fa-la-la, dot, 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 fa-la-la, dot, dot, dot. Uh, and that's, it's really cute. Look at that. It's done in all these different pretty colors. It's mostly white. And, uh, that's, that's super pretty. Wow. I think DJ's going to, oh, there's two of them. I think DJ's going to like that. Look at that. We put them on the chairs in the other room, uh, and they would be matching. Oh, wow. Santa Paws hat. Uh, this is the tiny one with catnip and crinkle. Uh, but it's the same brand and everything. So in a, in a way, it's a matching Hat. I don't know why it's also got a hole in it if it's just a cat toy, but it is a crinkly cat toy, and I can feel the catnip in there. I can't smell too well right now for reasons um, the <laughs> about my nose suddenly being stuffed up. I don't know how that happened. Um, and that's, uh, that's really, really cute, and I think the kittens are going to have a lot of fun with it. I'll just leave it right there for them to find. Oh, actually, maybe we can... Yeah, I think that's good enough. I was going to put it on uh, that mouse, but he's not going to stand up, and so it'll just fall right off. All right, now this one is, uh, I guess this is also wrapped, right? This would count as wrapped. Anyway, it's for DJ. I'm going to peek since I can since I can peek. Oh, oh, that's very cute. All right, that's some very cute underwear. I'm going to put it right back here. There we go. I don't, I don't think any kittens are going to get into there, but uh, if I'm going to leave it out, I shouldn't take any chances. Oh, look at that. See, these are coming in handy. Oh, um, we've never had a, a we, I shouldn't say never. One time when we were observing, we had one of our cats. I want to say it was like Acro or maybe even earlier. It might have been Riley that uh, did, he was playing in a bag, and when he came out, he put his head through the handle instead of just coming out of the bag, and then that spooked him. Like, he wasn't in any danger, but it, but the fact that he stood up and the bag was following him really close, and then he started running, and the bag was keeping up with him. He's freaking out about it. So ever since then, we're very careful to, if we leave these out, to always make sure that the handles are, are cut uh, because, uh, you know, it's not... It's it, nobody's getting hurt, but they are getting surprised. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, oh, some more. Uh, let's see. This is a little tiny Christmas tree, buddy. You want a little Christmas tree right there? Oh yeah, Imperial Cat. Oh, oh, you like the label, huh? Or you just you're hanging out with DJ and you want me to take the label off like she always does? Here, look. We can plant this right here in your new favorite toy. And then it will stand up, and then this toy is suddenly a Christmas toy. Oh, there we go. Look at that. We made it relevant. Perfect. Hey, buddy. Hey, no. Keep playing here. Right here. Look, I'll help you out. Let me show you. Look. You could get it out. See, I just got it out. If you try really hard. Okay. 
This is a glass Christmas tree ornament toy. Um, I, if I, if we didn't have like this same ornament all over our, our Christmas tree when I was growing up, I would have no idea what this was, like the Eye of Sauron uh, or something. But no, I recognize it only because we had ones that were very similar to this in actual glass uh, when I was a kid. Um, yeah, it's very pretty. It does make me think of them as my, uh, you know, my parents' Christmas tree, which is sweet. All right, this is another gift for Mr. A and Dr. DJ, again, from obviously Bob and Ruth. I, you know, we're still in the same box. And then at the very bottom, we have a beautiful, uh, is this like a navy or is it black? Maybe black. It's, it's hard to tell sometimes uh, which one it's trying to be. I don't know why I keep smelling these things. It's just, you know what? I think it's just, uh, it's like a, like a reflex that I have now from, from um, Loganberry peeing in so many of these. Whenever I go by the ones that have been out, I always have to smell them to make sure that they're still clean. Uh, and they have been. He, he said he's been taking some time off, I guess, uh, recently. But he did, uh, he did pee in the one that is Till's, fav uh, Till's favorite. It's, I don't know if it's her favorite or just the one she has access to the most, that sort of salmon-colored one that's either in her room or the living room right now. Uh, I think that's why I do that, though. I just I can't see one without wanting to go, oh, yeah, it smells okay. <laughs> so uh, so thank you. This is beautiful. I don't think we've had any in this particular color, question mark, before. Uh, it, it looks like a navy blue to me, um, but I, I, it's so dark, it could really pass as either one. The kittens are going to look so good on this, especially, I think, um, uh, the little uh, brightly colored, bright, light colored kittens that we have in the current class uh, are going to look great hanging out on this one. Uh, so thank you very much uh, for everything. Thank you to everybody for everything. I do believe that was the last box. So uh, I am going to get as much of this as I can put where it belongs. Um, and then uh, I will say thank you again. Okay. Let's do it. Maybe I'll get a chance to blow my nose in between there. Uh, well, I guess it's a good day to have the mic not working because otherwise that would have all been a little too clear, I think. Uh, yeah. Oh, but he's bouncing on it too. That's a great teaspoon toy. All right. I can't wait to read those stories. You know, it's really just, that's something that means so much to me and is so, it's perfect. It's just the perfect thing. It's what I would have wanted. Christmas cards over there already, so uh, when I figure out where I put all of them. No! Oh, 25 pounds! I guess it's not a bag from this angle. Pick up a 25 pound box when you're sitting next to it, though. Uh. 
I'm not crying, you're crying. Oh. Ooh. Oh, wow. I was going to throw this down in here. This is the little blanket that was in there. Look how cool that is. And this side is so, like, perfect for kneading on. I feel like, uh, well, I guess I will put it here. I feel like DJ would have this in the, in the bedroom for a little teaspoon to, to knead on, too. She spoils him so much. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know which side to put up. I mean, the, the Santa side is so pretty, but this is the side the kittens are going to want. I guess they'd probably sleep on either side, right? Sleeping on the teddy bear in the uh, in the den, in the little huggy bear bed. All right. And this has to go with me and the cards. Hi. Yes, you are sitting on it. Yes, I see you. Okay, by here. Catch something else. Some of this stuff got kind of bumped out of the way for mailbag here. I'm going to redistribute a bit. Good. I'm going to hang this in here and have a disco party. No, oh, his shoe's starting to split. Wow, this has been a K for a long time. check all right good everything's good so far I like that Let's consolidate two beds in one. All right. There we go. One box fewer. That's good. all that in just two boxes to go downstairs all right what are you looking at sprouty you're allowed to go play too here 
Let's share a little Christmas in the other room too. up for a little while. Let's put this up for a little while. That was mailbag, everybody. Thank you all very, very much. I, I, uh, I don't, I don't think I have anything else to say right now. I'm just, um, uh, I'm excited for when DJ comes home and gets to see that too. It's going to be really special for her, and uh, when we get a chance to go through it. And uh, I think it's a, it's a big book. I think that that's going to be something that we can enjoy for a long time, like the the best kind of advent calendar, uh, maybe even more than that. Um, yeah, I, uh, all right, well, yeah, thanks, <laughs> thanks. Oh, what else am I supposed to say, buddy, huh? What am I supposed to say? It's too much. All right, so I'm going to end the recording right here, and then anybody who's still around, um, uh, talk amongst yourselves. No. Who wants one of these right now? Here.
Where is Eddie? You must be up in the bedroom. Betty? How do you like that, huh? It's pretty fun, right? You can play with it all you want. Okay. All right, let's get Serenity and Till back where they belong. Serenity, you're going the wrong way. She was just trying to leave me to her room like she does. I guess she got tired of waiting. I'm just going to tell, text DJ to tell her about my reaction during mailbag, but I'm not going to tell her what it is. <laughs> 